Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Oh my goodness, that cat is so precious. Oh, he's so lovely. No, this isn't a cat video, it's a makeup video. Uh, so I already put my foundation on, I did that ahead of time. No point in wasting time showing you how to put on foundation. Uh, obviously I used a blue beauty blender. LOL, a beauty blender. <laughs> Clap. Alright, Glossier, some balm um, for my lips. It's coconut balm. Got it from Ipsy. Not sponsored, by the way. None of this is sponsored whatsoever. Uh, so I went ahead and put some balm on since I am using some matte liquid lipstick. Um, here is my Too Faced Peach Palette. I'll be using this... Uh, it's like a reddish brown color is the best way. Or no, sorry, I'm using the one next to it. My bad. <laughs> Uh, it's called, let's see, Puree. Uh, I'm gonna be using my blending brush right here, and I'm just gonna contour my face a smidge. Just a little bit. Just, just, just enough where it looks like I have an extra cheekbone coming out of the cheekbone that I already naturally have because, um, you know, being extra and whatnot. I didn't do it too heavily though, because I wanted it to be natural. <laughs> I'm just singing some uh, Kendrick Lamar, if you can figure out what I'm saying. Um, there you go. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some blush for this look. It's NYX Whipped in... Whipped in... Uh, whipped in Fute? Fute -te -te, potato. I don't know what it is. But it's like a whipped foundation. foundation. Wow. Blush. Uh, I just put some uh, polka dots on my cheeks, on the apples of my cheeks. Go ahead and get those on there. And of course I get distracted by music because dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take my blush a brush and blend it out onto my cheeks. Spread it up towards my temple and just blend it out, make it look a little bit more natural. Make it look like I'm naturally blushed. Terrible lighting of course, but what do you expect? It's my life. Uh, I forgot to do my eyebrows, so I went ahead and boom, I did my eyebrows. <laughs> no point in filming that as well. Make the video short. Uh, so I'll be using two of these colors. I had so much trouble pointing at the first one, which is luscious, and that second one was harder to point at. That one is nectar. Um, so I went ahead and used the flat end of my brush and I pretty much just tapped it on there, quite gently so. I went ahead and put Luscious on the outside parts of the eye, and then in the middle part, I went ahead and applied Nectar. So it's in some much lighter, shiny color. And I was like, eh, might as well have that on the inside and make that pop a little bit more. I went ahead and used the blending side of my brush and struggled to get the camera to focus on it, but you can still see it's a blending brush. I went ahead and blended the top so it wasn't just kind of smudged onto the top of my eyelid. You know what I mean? When you put them on, it's just kind of up there and you don't want it there. Blend it out, it looks a little bit better, a little bit more natural as well. Literally just blending. Blend the crap out of your eyes. <laughs> Gently, but much a lot. <laughs> more dancing. I don't know what I was singing to in this one, to be honest, because the audio wasn't there. I d I don't know what I was dancing to. I want to know at this point. I went ahead and pulled out my Tristique, 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 Kiki. Uh, it's just a simple, like a brown eyeliner. I went ahead and went from the outside corner to like the middle of my waterline on the bottom. And I didn't go too, even though it looks like I went all the way, I really didn't. I went pretty much to the middle of my waterline. And I went ahead and grabbed one of my brushes and blended it out. Just smudged it so it wasn't such a harsh line. I wanted it to look a bit more soft, a little bit more subtle, a little bit more natural. If you can call natural eyeliner a thing. <laughs> so I went ahead and grabbed my mascara brush. This one's from e.l.f. I really like it just because of the little ball at the end makes it easier to kind of spread the lashes. And it's I don't know, I, I really do enjoy using this mascara, and it's shocking to me because it's a very cheap mascara. I mean, it's e.l.f. e.l.f. is like the cheapest you can get, but it's I think it's good. I like the quality, and I like how big my eyelashes get. I think it looks great. Here 
here we go. See, it's, again, subtle. I didn't want anything too crazy. You can see my eyelashes look 60 times better. And my makeup looks kind of natural-ish. So I went ahead and grabbed my strobe and globe. Globe. Oh my goodness, strobe and glow. And I'm doing the color glazed. And that is the highlighter of my choice today. I decided to go for a gold tone just because, like I said, I'm trying to go for a more natural, subtle look. And what says natural and glowy and dewy? Like something called glazed. I think that's the only thing that can explain the word, to be honest. Uh, I went ahead and put some on the inside of the corner of my eye as well to kind of grab more attention, direct it towards my eyes since they are the best feature of this entire look in my opinion. Put a little bit on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge, and then I was like, nope, that's not enough. So I put some <laughs> on my cupid's bow and that was still not enough. So I decided to grab a little bit more and put some right under my chin again to bring more light. So it's almost like a spotlight on my face. Yes, I know it's a lot of highlighter, but deal with it. I love highlighter and I can never get enough. Again, I still don't know what I'm jamming out to, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna use my Revlon Matte Lip Color. Um, I don't even remember what this color is called. I'm looking, guys, I promise. Uh, ooh, it's, a uh, is it HD Forever Etern Eternite? I don't know, man. It's it's a more nudie color. Nudie. Lol. I said nudie. Anyways, it's, a, it's kind of like a nudie red color. Again, I wanted to go for something natural and nothing too crazy. And it's just a little bit darker than my lips. I don't know. I think I think it's a, it's a good choice of color for this look. It kind of works out with everything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just put on the lipstick and then, or the, the, the lip color. Sorry. And that's literally it. All right, guys. Well, this is pretty much the finished look. Something really simple, something really easy. Um, I was inspired by some looks that I saw online and um, decided to do my own twist and try to do something springish and fresh, I guess you could say. I wanted to look kind of natural looking and not too cakey. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to do something else. And, um, oh yeah, ring the bell. Because, you know, YouTube. You, you, you feel me? You know what I mean? YouTube? Anyways. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh... Pretty excited that uh, to, to make more videos. I can't wait till my Ipsy bag comes because I'm very excited. I love reviewing it and I love doing it. It's a lot of fun, but you know, once a month, man. I can't wait that long. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This uh, outro has gone on too long. Goodbye and thank you for all the support, guys.